Dear learners and listeners, Namaskar. I am Dr. Shweta, the PI for secondary course in psychology. Before we begin studying this course, we must know that what is psychology. So, to begin with, we should know that psychology primarily deals with the people, that is, who they are and what do they do. It tries to understand the basic psychological phenomena which is related to learning, memory, thinking, problem solving, etc. That is, everything a person does is connected with psychology. So, the subject matter in psychology enables one to understand that how mind and brain works together. And this understanding helps in better decision making, avoiding stressful situation, to have a better time management and to live a life of purpose. As far as the objectives of the course are concerned, the present course enables the learner to understand the basic psychological processes and their applications in daily life, to relate oneself positively to family, neighborhood and society, to behave effectively and in a value-based manner, as well as to live a life of purpose. So basically, psychology is the scientific study of human mind and behavior. Now let us know that what do we have in the present course of psychology. The course is divided into seven modules. Let us begin with the first module. The first module is Foundations of Psychology. This module introduces the learner to the nature of the subject matter as well as to the methods used in psychological researches and also enables the learner to understand the basic human differences. The second module, this is the basic psychological processes. This module introduces the learners with the basic psychological processes like sensation and perception which are important for understanding the world around us. It also introduces the learner with the basic concepts that are required for acquiring knowledge and for retaining it for future use. The module also introduces the concepts of memory, problem solving and thinking. In addition to all these aspects, this module familiarizes the learner with appreciation of the inner world that is the motivation and emotions that one individual has. Let us come up to the third module. The third module is human development. As the name suggests, this module is concerned with the biological processes and characteristics and stages of human development. This module also introduces the learners to the social and cultural factors that influence the human development. Next come the fourth module, which is social psychological processes. This module familiarizes the learners with the effect of social institutions on individuals. The module enables the learner to understand that how we behave in the groups, what are the various processes that are involved in communicating with the people around us, as well as how do we form the attitudes and beliefs. In addition to these concepts, this module also enables the learner to familiarize with the social and educational problems and how we can deal with those problems. The fifth module is health and happiness. As the name suggests, this module introduces the learners with the concept of health and happiness. It also describes the processes that become an obstacle to have a healthy and happy life, as well as the basic psychological phenomena that can help in overcoming these obstacles. This also familiarizes the learners with the concept of health and hygiene and 
the various practices that can be acquired to have a positive mental health. The sixth module is work life and environmental concern. This module introduces the learners with the world of work as well as the basic individual differences which are required as per the nature of the work. The module also develops a better understanding of the relationship between human beings and environment and the causes and remedies for environmental stress. The last module is the seventh module which is yoga a way of life. This module actually helps in developing a better understanding of yoga as a way of life which is being practiced from the ancient times. It also enables the learners to understand the relevance of yoga in various stages of life. So, this module basically guides the learners to face the various stressful situations in life and also helps them towards a proper self-development. So, dear learners, this was all about the seven modules that we will be studying in our course. During the transaction of all these concepts, we have provided you with the various activities that will help you to understand the various psychological phenomena as well as the methods of study that are used in psychological researches. With this, I thank you all and I wish you a very happy learning.